In this lecture, I will explain how to measure the performance of a cooling tower. Uh, the performance of cooling tower is measured by two parameters which are called range and approach. The range is the difference between the cooling tower water inlet and outlet temperatures. Uh, as we all know that water that is entering the cooling tower is hot and the water that is leaving the cooling tower is cold. So the difference between these two temperature is called range and range can also be calculated by using this formula which says that range is equal to heat load heat load in kilo calories per hour divided by water circulation rate in liters per hour the second uh, parameter is approach which is the difference between the cooling water uh, outlet cold water uh, uh, sorry cooling tower outlet cold water temperature and ambient wet bulb temperature so uh, there will always be a difference between the outlet water temperature and the ambient temperature it uh, uh, cooling tower cannot achieve the ambient uh, temperature because uh, it is only possible in the case of perfect cooling uh, before uh, measuring the performance of a cooling tower, I will like to explain some of the important terms linked with the performance of a cooling tower. The first one is cooling tower effectiveness. Is It is the ratio of range to the ideal range. That means difference between the cooling water inlet temperature and the ambient wet bulb temperature. This effectiveness of the cooling tower is uh, determined by using this formula effectiveness is equal to range divided by range plus approach so it is the ratio of uh, difference of temperatures uh, and it is it, it will result it will give us a result in in the terms of percentage the second performance criteria is uh, cooling capacity it is the heat rejected in uh, kilocalories per hour or given as product of mass flow rate of water specific heat and temperature difference so we will calculate uh, the cooling capacity by uh, multiplying mass flow rate of water specific heat of water and the temperature difference between the inlet and outlet then uh, the other terms that are used are called ev uh, evaporation loss evaporation loss is the water quantity evaporated for cooling duty it means that uh, the amount of water that is ev evaporated for a certain uh, heat uh, cooling requirement and the relation that is used for this uh, uh, evaporation loss is uh, is equal to 0 0.0085 multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by circulation rate and the temperature difference. Uh, then the cycles of concentration. Uh, it is the ratio of dissolved solids in circulating water to the dissolved solids in the makeup water. As we know, the um, circulating water which is circulating between the cooling tower and the power plant heat exchangers uh, get uh, higher concentration of uh, TDS as compared to the fresh water. So it is the ratio between the uh, TDS of uh, circulating water and the fresh water then the blow down losses and um, blow down is uh, done to con to maintain the level of tds in a cooling tower therefore the loss due to the blow down is calculated by uh, cycles of concentration and it is equal to blow down is equal to evaporation loss divided by cycles of con concentration minus 1 and the 
and the next term is uh, liquid gas ratio uh, also called as lg ratio of a cooling tower is the ratio between the water and air mass flow rates so it is the ratio between uh, water and air mass flow rate and it is equal to h2 minus h1 which are the enthalpies and divided by temperature t1 and t2 t1 is the temperature of hot water temperature and t2 is cold water temperature h2 is enthalpy of air water vapor mixture at exhaust wet bulb temperature and h1 is enthalpy of air water vapor mixture at inlet wet bulb temperature so by defining these terms we can uh, measure the performance of a cooling tower that will be explained in this example the findings of uh, one typical trial uh, pertaining to the cooling towers of a thermal power plant which is 3 into 200 megawatt is given below uh, the unit load 1 and 3 of the station is 398 megawatt main frequencies is 49.3 these uh, uh, two specifications are for the power plant inlet cooling water temperature is 44 uh, the hot water temperature that will enter in the uh, cooling tower is 44 degree the outlet water temperature is 37.6 degree and uh, wet bulb air wet bulb temperature is 29.3 and air dry bulb temperature that air that is uh, exiting the cooling tower is 40.8 degree the air that is entering the cooling tower is at 29.3 degree number of uh, cooling tower cells on line with water flow are 45 and total measured cooling water flow is seven uh, seventy thousand four twenty six and measured measured uh, cooling tower fan flow uh, that means uh, the amount of air flow is uh, ninety uh, uh, ninety uh, ninety eight uh, nine point nine eight nine eight nine five double four meter cube per hour using this this data we will analyze the performance and uh, measure the performance of a cooling tower so uh, cooling tower water flow per cell as we know there are there are uh, 45 cells and uh, if we divide the total water flow rate which was 70,426 if we divide this flow rate by 45 we will get the uh, flow rate per cell which is 1565 meter cube per hour then uh, cooling tower fan air flow is given which is uh, 989544 if we multiply it with the density which is 1.08 kilogram per meter cube we will get the uh, uh, air flow rate as 1068708 and lg ratio lg ratio is uh, ratio between water flow rate and air flow rate so we have uh, both these flow rates and if we divide the these two flow rates will get the answer as 1.46 then uh, the range uh, cooling tower range we all know that uh, it is the difference between the hot water temperature and cold water temperature and uh, 44 is the temperature at the inlet of cooling tower and 37.6 is the temperature of cooling tower at the exit so the difference is 6.4 degree this is the range and uh, 
the cooling tower approach is the difference between a cold water temperature that is leaving the uh, cooling tower and minus the amb ambient temperature the approach is 8.3 degree so we can calculate the effectiveness of cooling tower by using uh, this formula that we have already discussed range divided by range plus approach multiplied by 100 and uh, we can see that the effectiveness of cooling tower is 43.53 and then we'll cal we can calculate the cooling duty uh, which is equal to mass flow rate divided by temperature difference so mass flow rate uh, uh, mass flow rate of uh, water is 1565 already calculated uh, 1565 is uh, water flow rate per cell and uh, multiply we will multiply it with uh, the uh, range temperature difference which is also range temperature difference between the hot uh, water that is uh, entering into the cooling tower and minus the uh, uh, temperature of cold water at the outlet and uh, we'll get uh, the cooling duty how much heat is required to cool down this amount of water so this is cooling duty is is the amount of heat that needs to be removed by a single cooling tower so uh, next we will calculate the evaporation loss and the formula for evaporation loss was uh, discussed in uh, in the start of the video and an empirical relation was used which was equal to 0 0.0085 multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by circulation rate and the temperature difference so uh, we if we put in the values uh, of circulation rate we are, all know that uh, that is water circulation rate is 1565 and the temperature difference between the uh, hot water and the cold water is 6.4 44 minus 37.6 so the evaporation loss the amount of water that is evaporated and uh, uh, this amount of water is evaporated to the atmosphere and uh, water vapors are carried away by air which was cooling uh, in which was circulating in the uh, cooling tower so this amount of water 15.32 uh, meter cube per hour of water is wasted to the atmosphere so now we can calculate the evaporation loss the amount of water that is wasted divided by the total circulation rate and uh, it multiplied by 100 will give us the percentage evaporation loss then uh, we'll calculate the blow down loss and uh, for side uh, cycles of concentration is given as 2.7 and we have the formula for blow down loss uh, calculation which is equal to uh, evaporation loss divided by cycle of concentration minus one evaporation loss was calculated as uh, 15.32 and uh, cycles of concentration is given as 2.7 and we will get the answer as 9.01 meter cube per hour so uh, these two losses uh, that mean blow down loss and evaporation loss is the amount of water that has been wasted per hour so we need to uh, add uh, this amount of water to maintain the quantity of water in the uh, plant so amount of uh, makeup water that is needed uh, is equal to evaporation loss plus blow down loss and uh, if, if we add them and we'll get the total 
amount of makeup water that would be required in one hour to maintain the quantity of water in the circulation this is it uh, this is how we can calculate the performance of a uh, cooling tower thank you